Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. The dust is only starting to settle from a crazy ones to watch day one with a huge market crash involved with just so much supply. That's what we're gonna talk about a lot today is the crazy, crazy, crazy amount of supply that we saw on this game yesterday for the cards that went into packs with the ones to watches and all the gold cards that were in packs as well and how it just dropped cards an insane, insane amount with these packs that EA is releasing um, and all the content that they released, the saved up packs, the FIFA points that people had. I think we just underestimated how much supply there was going to be on the game today. But regardless, whether you lost coins today, whether you made coins, the market went crazy a lot of stuff just absolutely tanked down with that supply the new foot heroes are in packs and a lot of them are extinct at the time i'm recording this now i don't know when they're going to be updating price ranges on a lot of these cards but a lot of them are extinct right because these players seem to have kind of an icon feel to them right of course we take a look at some of the cards we knew were going to be hyped up ginola is extinct right now di natale is extinct abedi pele is extinct and even joe cole is extinct after being on the market for a little bit uh, his price went extinct at 425,000 coins. Hopefully EA updates these price ranges soon because there's a lot of these, these um, hero cards that a lot of people want to use on this game that they can't because they're extinct. Now, some of the other ones, um, the reason why I say they feel like icons is their pack weight does not seem to be very high. They seem to have a low pack weight, kind of like icons do. Higher than Icon's pack weight, but also still pretty low in the sense that it's not like a promo card, right? If you take a look at the ones to watch pack weight versus these uh, these hero cards, the ones to watches are supplied so much more. So if there's any hero cards that were dropped today that you're interested in, especially if they're an extinct card, I, I think EA would like to update these price ranges pretty, pretty soon, right? Because it's almost like half the team that is extinct. Dean Natale. Uh, Cordoba, Gina, Ginola, Abu, uh, sorry, Abedi Pele, Keen, and Cole are all extinct. There's like seven cards that are extinct right now on this game. Now, some of the other ones look pretty dope to try out. Ole is up like 100,000 coins. He was down at like 230k. He's up to 325. And I think like Morientes was down at 280 as well. I think that some of these cards are um, some of the other hero cards are maybe rising up a little bit into tonight on friday into saturday because of that rarity and because of so many of them being extinct so we're going to hold tight and watch for those price range updates as hopefully they come pretty soon but overall yesterday was just nuts in terms of the supply again we thought that holland was already low at like seventy thousand coins eighty thousand coins yesterday take like the prices that we saw today were insane holland was eighty thousand coins still Friday morning, dropped all the way down and at content time, I mean, this guy was literally in the low 60s, like 60,000 coins flat. People were getting Holland for, I mean, you saw cards like Messi go from 930K all the way down to like 770K. He's still 789. Conte was 400,000 coins. Sun was 220K. Pogba was like 120, 130. Bruno Fernandez was, was down. Basically, again, what we saw was just supply, supply, supply. KDB was 140,000 coins. He's back to 167. Some of those cards have started to rebound back in price. Some of the team of the week cards have started to rebound back in price as people have started buying teams. Alfonso Davies was 58K, 58,000 coins. Mane was 200,000 coins at his absolute lowest. He has started to rise back up. That was the story of yesterday, that these cards, with the pack weight that EA kept on the game. Now, we didn't have crazy, crazy promo packs released. Um, it was basically just the amount of packs that were opened that supplied this market so much. If we take a look at the packs that are out, of course, they have the promo packs with the 15K and the 25K packs. Now, these were not lightning rounds for whatever re for, um, for any reason. It was basically five 25Ks and 10 15K packs is what people could open. But if you look at the probabilities, 8.9% of a gold 85 plus player 85 plus player, 8.9%, which is crazy, crazy weight. 8.2% on an 86 plus player from these 25K packs. So it's like an 8% chance of a walkout, especially with the 80 plus rated guaranteed as a part of this premium gold players pack. So these packs today were supplying the market so 
so much. Now, there weren't any preview packs besides our regular gold pack, right? Our regular 7.5K pack was the only previewable one, which is such a big W. I'm glad it would have been way worse if there was a 25K pack that was previewable as well. That would have been nuts. So I'm glad that the supply was only that. But still, with the amount of saved packs that people had from marquee matchups, from objectives that they had saved, uh, from maybe the... Um, doing um, the hybrid leagues and nations advanced SBCs, all those safe packs and FIFA points just supply the market so much with again, I think we continue to underestimate just how in insane the pack weight is this year on FIFA. Now there was more information about these ones to watch players as well. I'm saving my one to watch pack for when team two is out when when all of the players are available. But a lot of people open their ones to watch packs. Now, of course, some of you guys had issues with those packs after yesterday but ea was actually pretty quick with this and if you guys obviously you saw this yesterday they were able to re-release whoever had opened their pack early they re-released those packs back out very fast so that was nice it was nice that they did that and i feel like it was very speedy right they got it out in a pretty good time and it was um it was very nice to see that now i know a lot of people of course with ones to watch packs they got Burgaus, they got locatelli they got Alba, Grealish, or Dumfries, right? A lot of people were getting Saul's, Burkhaus, and that's kind of what we expected, right? So these ones to watch cards are getting kind of low right now at the moment as I'm recording this. And I want to talk about a, a few things related to these cards as well, because some of these guys have games. They have games today, right? My number one favorite, I actually bought four of them on my transfer list, is this Daniel Malin, right? He started to get low. His price has been dropping off all day. He's about 31,000 coins, and that seems to be maybe a low price for him. Uh, of course, there's not many showing up here on Footbin, but 34,000 coins. He started at like 50K and has been dropping off. I believe Holland is injured and Dortmund have a game early tomorrow morning. So one thing that's going to be something to watch out for is if Malin does start that game, they're playing against Augsburg, who is a team that is low in the standings. Uh, and that's going to be something you want to keep an eye on that, right? Because Malin might have potential to score right? He might have a really good potential to score in that game. He scored just recently in the midweek game against Sporting. So, you know, decent form. Malin gets the start. That will be a card that you could buy a little bit maybe on speculation. He's probably going to rise into tonight when this video goes live at normal time and probably going to continue to rise up into the game on Saturday. Now, I'm going to talk in a video tomorrow about how to trade with ones to watches, but this is one thing that we often see with ones to watch cards that get released the day before they have a game. Some of these cards will go up in price before their game today on Saturday. I think Malin has a game. Um, I don't know who else has a game today. Ronaldo and Varane, of course, they have got a game. They play early against Everton. Saul has a game, of course, with, the, with Chelsea getting involved. With I don't think Bayern played until Sunday. Uh, Juventus actually play against Torino. So technically, Locatelli has got a game as well. So I think there's only a few cards in here that had games. The rest play on Sunday. Oh, what about Real Madrid? Real Madrid do not play to today. They play tomorrow. So Alba's card and Grealish's card may not go up yet. But I think you will see some rises on guys like Malin. Maybe a little bit of a rise on Ronaldo or Varane. Hakimi is a card that I think is very, very sought after. He's right around 300,000 coins, and I believe PSG does not play. Uh, they play on Sunday as well. So just keep an eye on for some of that stuff, but I would expect to see the cards that play today. Their prices might rise a little bit as people hope that they could get uh, a good performance and collect maybe their first special card of the year. So these, these cards, these ones to watches were supplied a lot, and their prices kind of went from high to low they kind of went really high and they they kind of just kept going down you're going to see these hit some lows and then start to bounce back but we need games right we need games and wins right with the wins to watch upgrade again for these cards that's a big part of this to keep in mind now also speaking about those ones to watch guaranteed packs again if you did not open them we're going to have another release of ones to watch cards on sunday yes sunday around the content drop we're going to have a mini release of ones to watch cards that will be back out into packs. It'll be three cards, right? They talked about these mini releases um, right up in here, I believe. Two groups of three ones to watch items will join their respective team through mini releases on Sunday as outlined in the table below. So whatever cards, I'm not sure what cards are gonna come out on Sunday, but we will have three new ones to watches. So 14 total cards and packs 
on Sunday. So make sure you kind of remi remember that. Now, content-wise, SBCs seemed like a very slow day on, uh, on Friday. Andre Silva is a decent SBC, to be honest. Four-star skills, three-star weak foot. The reason why I say it's a decent SBC is because you would hope that Andre Silva, being a striker and a prolific player that he is in the Bundesliga, could hopefully get some upgrades. So if you're somebody who likes running a Bundesliga team, um, or you know if you like playing with this type of striker in the game, he's not the most meta card, but some for some people they like this type of you know hold up, you know six foot one, four star skills. He doesn't have a really good weak foot, but. He's got really good finishing, really good strength and physical, and he's got a big body. So some people like strikers like that in this game. He could very easily get you know two or three upgrades uh, before the end of the year if he performs well, if he gets some informs with Leipzig. And of course, Leipzig, decent team, could get their five wins in the league in their next 10, which would give him an upgrade as well. And 83 squad, you know, that's not too bad in my opinion. Now, I think more people are hyped about the Kamavinga objective though, once to watch Kamavinga was released, it's inside of the foot friendly new allegiance takes you um, basically 12 games is what it's going to take you 12 separate matches you have to score with La Liga players and win those nine games. So this is a nice card you can I guess get for an untradeable ones to watch you can put into your club. Usually there's always the jokes about these first release ones to watch objectives and SBCs. They, it's like a curse like the ones to watch curse like they never do well. So Kamavinga, of course, has started off really well for Real Madrid, and hopefully that can continue. A lot of people are going to do this objective to get a special card in their club, which makes sense. But all in all, that was kind of the content today, right? We had the new cards and packs, the SBCs, the objectives. We had these weird, um, I, I guess weird for me, because I was not expecting to see this today. We had these um, bundles, customization bundles, and this is going to be something that we knew was coming um, Mira's full bundle, 135,000 coins for TIFO stadium theme kits, pitch trophy. I mean, this to me, unless this means something to you, I bet a lot of people are not going to be interested in these bundles or in these items for stadium customization. Uh, to me, it does not make a lot of sense. I know for some of you guys it might, but I think that is something that we're not used to seeing, but we're going to start to see a lot of stuff related to TIFO's kits and uh, the pay to skin. I guess you could say more type of thing in this game. Now, yesterday was actually a pretty, pretty cracked day for me. I packed Valverde and Kunde tradable, selling the Kunde right now. And I actually packed an icon, man. I packed 86 Raul, untradable. So obviously he's going to go straight into the team. That was crazy uh, from a 50K pack from objectives. You're a milestone objective. Get your objectives done, I guess. Uh, so it was a crazy day for me yesterday, packing, I think, my third icon ever from um, a regular pack, which was pretty nuts, but packed um, Rudiger, Edward Mendy, and Babu. So packed some nice stuff that I can put into my team, which was nice to upgrade that. And then on the market, I wanna talk about some of the moves that I made. Now I bought some of these heroes at low prices and I, I went for out of packs in forms because everything that went crazy, crazy low yesterday was so supplied, right? Everything was just so, so, so supplied. Even the current team of the week, as we look at a couple of these cards, where's uh, Leonberg right now? He is 212 and he's got one page to 220. Okay, I like that. So I bought an Inform Vinicius because this card was at 240,000 coins. I know the market has dropped off a lot, but the reason why I bought him was because he had no new supply today. He's still right around 200K. I got him at 197. But the reason I bought Sar and Tony as well is because they didn't get supplied in packs. So people that got coins today from opening packs, I went the route of not taking the chance with any of the supply. Wow, that's a big undercut on Sar. How much is Sar at the moment? I think he's still like 37, 38K. Um, but I, I still like this card because he's got 95 pace. And again, I went for those out of packs team of the week cards because they should rise up in price as they didn't have any more supply on the market. Now, team of the week two got really low as well. Really, really low in the morning. Benzema, 100K. Felipe Anderson, 24,000 coins. Seems like a crime for that card. Now, Barella is actually up a little bit. He started rising. People are investing in these cards. Zakaria is up. Jesus is up like 15,000 coins. People are starting to invest in these and also buy back and buy stuff for their teams. That's happening across the game. That is happening across the game. Again, as we talked about with Wijnaldum, or sorry, with Mane being down at like 200K, now at 235. Um, you're seeing some of these prices start to rebound. Now, let's talk about today on Saturday. What's going to happen? We know the market went crazy down yesterday. 
with all the supply, huge market crash, right? Prices are kind of starting to rebound back. But what's going to happen today on Saturday? Well, of course, there's still promo cards and packs, and there are still uh, people that are going to be spending FIFA points on promo packs when they drop today. Now, again, as we talked about yesterday as well, I wasn't 100% expecting the market today to absolutely explode, or from whatever low point we go from, I don't think the market was going to explode today. It's going to take days because people that started the game today as well on Friday, yesterday on Friday, it was their first time on the game, right? So they maybe opened some FIFA points. They're going to get packs. They're going to get games played. And I think what you're really going to start to see is the market pick up into the, into the weekend and into next week is really what I think you'll see because that's where people are going to start being able to buy cards and its supply is going to wear off. Now, these packs expire in basically what's going to be Saturday at 6 p.m. UK. I would really keep an eye on these right here to see what they release on Saturday. Last year, what they did is they started with only 15K packs and 12 and a half, as we saw in yesterday's video. So the fact they put out 25K packs makes me think they might go for 35Ks um, today on Saturday, which could bring some more supply to the market once again, as long as it's not, you know, a lightning round or it's just, you know, a certain number of packs that are there. The big thing is though, if they add any more preview packs, that is what's going to supply the market a ton more. So watch out for those preview packs, watch out for that sort of stuff. Otherwise for the market today, you're probably going to see ones to watch items moving around. Um, you know, I think you're going to see some heroes cards, depending on when they update the price ranges, you'll see some of these hero cards maybe dip a little bit. You're going to see people that will get scared. Like we saw a lot at the end of FIFA 21, people get scared on Saturday mornings because what they see is they know that more supply is going to be coming on cards that are in packs. So be careful if you have any ones to watch or if you have any of these hero cards, um, you're probably going to start to see people sell off some cards. And maybe this happens across the whole market, which it very well could on some of the gold meta cards as well. Wow, Morientes is flying right now, 380. Wow, he actually exploded in price. GG's. I knew that this dynamic image is one of the most insane dynamics I've ever seen. Love that one. Um, but... I think some of these heroes will probably peak, you know, tonight, Friday night into Saturday morning, and then you'll see them drop down a little bit with a little bit more supply today on Saturday. And then, um, of course, people selling them because they're worried about the supply. Same thing is going to happen for the gold card market a little bit. Watch your high tier cards. Um, these guys like maybe Neymar, guys like cards that were bought up by a lot of people yesterday. Maybe a Davies went from 58 to 65K, right? These types of cards that are still down so much from where they were, but rose up from their low points yesterday. You'll probably see a little bit of sell-off again this Saturday morning. But I wouldn't be too worried. If you bought cards for a team today when the market went so low with all the supply in the first hour or so, I think you're chilling. I think you're chilling. And I think you will see those cards continue to rebound back up into this next week. I wouldn't expect to see like crazy and cra crazy insane rebounds again. I, I think it's going to take some time. Um, I think it's going to take some time for the supply to wear off, honestly is one way to say it and also for people to get coins to afford more of the high tier players on this game which even though they're cheaper than ever still takes a little bit of time so if you bought cards have patience right that'd be my number one i guess advice would be have some patience try to get these cards where did my mollins go did i put my mollins in my transfer list i think i got all my coins in my transfer list right now uh i do yes indeed so mollins we got those there we got the SARS, Vinicius, Youngberg. Okay, GG's. Anyways, um, get, have some patience, right? Wait for those cards to rise. I do think that they will. And if you lost coins, don't give up, right? We looked at a lot of icons yesterday. Icons were probably the best place to trade if you had coins liquid and availability to do that. Now, I bought a, a Hugo Sanchez at 520,000 coins. I'm hoping to sell this card and hoping to see him rise up into the 600s again tonight. But... We will see, right? Icons were probably the best place to go. Informs are probably going to keep rebounding as well. And these heroes were great to trade with. Again, Morientes is up from 100K from where he was because these heroes are just really, really rare. So they're going to be fun to trade with. We're going to have to keep eyes on their prices. And of course, the gold meta market is going to have some more movements in it today. But like I said, if you bought cards for your team, just hold on to those, right? Have some patience. People are onto the game. They're upgrading. They're getting coins. And they're going to be buying more of those players to add into their teams. So that'll be the number one thing that I would say. Again, we expect I did not expect any of that crazy supply yesterday to be as insane as it was. I think we just underestimated, and I personally underestimated 
how many, how much supply really would be on this game with the increased pack weight that we're seeing in FIFA 22 Ultimate Team, which it is insane, obviously, as we know. So that's the video for today, boys. That's a rundown of what happened yesterday and a little bit of what I would expect into today. I really wouldn't expect much content-wise. Uh, maybe a player of the month SBC, but I still think we're a little bit early for a player of the month. Last year on day two of Ones to Watch, we had a big POTM Ansu Fati. Um, I don't know if we're going to have a player of the month SBC, if any have been, if any of the members of leagues for the player of the month from September have really been announced yet, but that could be potentially something that we see uh, today. So just keep an eye out for that. Uh, I haven't paid attention to the voting, to be honest, hundred percent to know what could exactly happen, but that is the story of what happened yesterday on this game. It was crazy. It was insane, and I hope you guys had a fun day with Ones to Watch. I hope you got something good in your Ones to Watch packs or any of the saved packs that you had saved. If you enjoyed this video, smash the thumbs up on it, comment down below if you have any questions, and subscribe if you do. It's been Nathan Foot Account, and I'll catch you guys later. Peace out.